Hey you, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Kim Cut here, bringing you guys a little Black Ops 2 prep talk. As you guys should know, uh, David Von Hart, he pretty much uh, made the game official uh, a couple of weeks back and then he just started tweeting about uh, sniping. So, as you can see, uh, just get this out of the way, uh, this is Black Ops 1 gameplay, I'm using the uh, classic sniper rifle, the bolt action, I haven't played this game in a while, um, this actually is one of my oldest gameplays that I've ever posted on my channel, as you can see I, I don't even know how to use theater mode, so I was like, yeah, so this is from a sniper lobby, but uh, you know, I just want to just have something related to Black Ops 2, and uh, this was the only thing I could find, so stick with it, it's really not about the gameplay. And uh, yeah, I just want to talk about Black Ops 2 sniping. Uh, what what do you guys want? Actually, uh, we all know that Black Ops uh, 1, when it first started out, you could not snipe. You could not quick scope. You couldn't do jack shit all. You had to wait like 3 seconds before you could do anything. It was fucking ridiculous. So, um, pretty much David Van Der Hart, uh, he said that he'll gather um, some of the best quick scopers and the, uh, some of the people that hate quick scopers the most. Uh, they'll put them in a conference room and they'll talk about. Uh, just to find a way to you know make everything balanced and uh, he actually had a pretty pretty good idea he said um, he wanted to uh, bring back the COD 4 sniping where um, it's 0.4 seconds to aim down sight which is uh, pretty long and uh, you, know, you know COD 4 just seems pretty balanced I'm not sure about you but sniping is one of you know one of the hard things in Call of Duty, I mean, you obviously you can go around with assault rifles, you can, you know, do stuff, but sniping preferably takes more skill than uh, assault rifling or anything does. You may disagree, you may agree, but uh, this is just my preference, um, it's just me. <laughs> but, um, like I said, what would you guys want to see uh, from Black Ops 2? Uh, would you guys want to see some hit markers or no hit markers, take them all out? In Black Ops, uh, this one, Black Ops 1, uh, pretty much it's a one-shot kill if you hit the head or the torso. If you hit the arms, it's not a kill. If you hit the uh, you know, pelvis area, it's not really a kill. Uh, it's only when you uh, hit them in the head or the you know, top part of the body. Uh, but Modern Warfare 2, uh, and uh, I think it was COD 4 as well, uh, it's just the legs and arms that weren't hit markers. I'm not sure about Modern Warfare 2, but COD 4 definitely, it was only the legs and uh, arms the limbs that didn't, you know, get hit markers, which uh, I think was was a bit balanced, but we'll see. Black Ops 2 was was all right, uh, but I don't know. Would you guys want to see something like Battlefield sniping, where it's only headshot, so it actually takes a lot of skill to start? I personally think that's just ridiculously overboard, but uh, I don't know. It, it might be interesting to the way. Oh, collateral, bitch, please sit down. It might be interesting to see how people adapt and uh, what people think of that actually but um, I don't think they'll really incorporate it uh, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see personally uh, I liked COD 4 sniping that was just amazing it, it was fun uh, it was 0.4 seconds which was you know enough to get yourself killed if it was one on one situation uh, another thing Dave Von, Von der Hart said was um, he wants to take down aim assist when you're no scoping because we all know no scoping takes no skill it's just, you see someone, you turn around the corner, you panic and you no-scope. Uh, personally, I think, I think you know, no-scoping is stupid. Uh, it shouldn't even really be accurate at all. Uh, it should always be random, which it sort of is, but sometimes you can make ways to make it more accurate. But um, personally, I think they should take away all aim assist. Uh, obviously, here I'm playing on PC, and uh, there really isn't aim assist, but uh, I got a recent PS3. And uh, no scoping on the PS3 is definitely easier than uh, console uh, than than PC because you've got the aim assist. It sort of takes your crosshairs onto the person and it just makes life easier. So I would like to see that um, they take that out of the game. Uh, maybe even aim assist out of all snipers because th that that'll work as well if they take away all aim assist out of snipers. Uh, so you have to purely base yourself on skill. Uh, but it would be harder. But then again, look at Black Ops. One, it was just impossible to snipe until the latest patch. Um, but uh, I'm actually really excited for Black Ops 2. Um, Black Ops 1 was probably one of my favorite Call of Duties. I mean, it wasn't really that bad. Um, it's when I started playing competitively. And uh, let me tell you, Modern Warfare 3, you can't play competitively at all. The maps are small. There really isn't any uh, technique areas. And the overall, it wasn't very good. But uh, Black Ops, it, it had large maps. It was really good. It was really balanced as well. 
Uh, overall, I felt really comfortable playing on Black Ops. Uh, you know, graphics wasn't the best, but um, you know, it just looks a bit mucky, dark sort of feeling. Uh, unlike COD 4, which was really light, which is really just smooth and beautiful. Um, Modern Warfare 2 was um, obviously for trick shotters one of the best. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please click like if you did, favorite if you did as well. And if you don't mind, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. That's pretty much it for me. Peace, guys. I'm out.